I've been laid off from the mortgage industry twice in the last five years. I was with Chase for 10 years and I'm about to lose my home. And um, I'm here to speak and on a personal level. If we do not get jobs in Washington State, the bleeding of the foreclosures will continue. So we need jobs, jobs, jobs. And that's all I have to say. the Port of Seattle making $400,000, which included a 9% raise last year when I think everyone else knows that we were in an economic crisis and on the brink of another depression. Well, when you take a look at the current census and the difference that is growing between our CEOs and those who are making millions of dollars and those who are working class, it's affecting every citizen who's a middle class citizen or lower income and it's time for change. We can make that 1% accountable. It's urgent that they pass the Jobs Act. We can't wait 14 more months for the next election cycle to hopefully maybe have some change. We need to eat now. We need to work now. Your group marches to the Sheraton Hotel. No where Chase CEO Jamie Dimon is speaking. I would like somebody to bail me out of my mortgage. Now, hundreds of these drivers actually walked off the job about two weeks ago because they say one driver went to Olympia to testify for change, and then that person came back to work and was retaliated against by his company. These drivers are contractors, so if they get stopped by the state patrol for having a heavy load, they tell me they have to pay the fine. And on top of that, they say they're just not getting paid enough. I'm hauling a container at worst, $1 million product from point A to point B for $50. They wore top hats, tiaras, and flashed a lot of fake money. Protesters supposedly representing the 1% made their case before state lawmakers today. And Como's John Rep has a story from Olympia. They went office by office, mock 1% protesters trying a different approach to the budget debate here. We are the 99 percent. We are the 99 percent. Dozens of demonstrators from Puget, Spa Puget Sound spent the day marching on the National Mall and rallying congressional offices. The protests were relatively peaceful, with participants saying simply they want Congress to put people ahead of wealthy corporations. Uh, by ourselves, people don't really tend to listen, so together we're trying to make a change and be strong together in numbers. That is quite a scene at the Maidenbauer Center today. Outside right now, a lot of protests. Inside, a fundraising event, a reception for Mitt Romney has just begun. Well, the super rich are robbing the rest of us, the 99%. That means working people, unemployed people. He's got all the money he ever will need. I mean, there'll be money left over when he's gone. But what about these people that are laying here? Income tax returns due tonight at midnight. The Occupy Seattle movement marked tax day with a demonstration downtown. Up to 100 protesters marched through the streets to the Wells Fargo Center on 3rd Avenue in Marion. The occupiers say the bank has not paid its fair share of taxes since it was bailed out in 2008. It's not just Wells Fargo that needs to hear us. It is the government that needs to hear us and understand that they need to make sure that... The, Companies like Wells Fargo pay their fair share in this state so that we don't take cuts in education. We don't take cuts in, in health care. Occupy Seattle. There's a shareholder meeting going on inside, and we need them to hear us. I'm here because I'm the 99%, and I am sick of it. So Amazon isn't paying their fair share in taxes, not even close. A-L-E-C, who broke our economy? here outside and we're supporting the people that are going to be inside. Corporations have decided that they don't need taxation, but they sure do need representation. My organization alone has over 95,000 signatures nationwide of people who are demanding, people who are demanding that Amazon drop their membership of Alex. Oh, my God. 
is now the second rebellion by workers tied to the Port of Seattle. No waiting permitted. These are the people who take your bags at the curb. They push the wheelchairs. They take out the trash. They put fuel on the planes and clean them when you get off. Regardless of who hires them, all of the jobs at the airport need to be living wage jobs. And that's really what this is about. Somebody asked the question, why do we bother to march today? We march today because among the millions who've been put out of work, they're of every race, every color, every creed, every faith, every background, and every neighborhood from sea to shining sea. We march today because our nation's economic policies need to be restructured. We stand together as a people who believe that America still must be a place where there is life, liberty, and jobs for all. So we march today. No more cuts, we march for jobs. No more cuts, we march for education. No more cuts, we march for health care. No more cuts, we march for infrastructure. No more cuts, we march for ending the nightmare and rebuilding the American dream. We march today. One nation, indivisible, with liberty, jobs, and justice for all. We march today.